Hello and welcome to Bloodstone Prison. I see fan mission by Kung Fu Gecko. Again, one of the early copies was released in 1999. Um, now, normally I would go sit on the objective screen. I guess I can sit on the objective screen to read to uh, read the briefing. That's fine. Let's just do it. Okay, that's the briefing video. Right, let's read the briefing text. Beyond the East Hills lies an old hammerhead prison that hasn't been used for decades. No one ever goes there anymore, and it's supposedly haunted. I don't enjoy dealing with the undead, and I never thought about the prison until now. I was approached by an old na man named Bando today, who noticed me practicing to be inconspicuous in the city streets. A keeper talent I never was able to perfect. Turns out that Bando seems to have been born with similar talents as me. He was even taken in by the keepers at one point, but was later kicked out for not being the one, as he put it. So he earned his keep as a rather successful freelance thief in his youth. Bender had spent some time in the prison when it was in use. He later returned to search for his late wife's brooch and other possessions that were confiscated from him after it had been overrun by undead, assuming that undead don't hold grudges like hammers. Uh... He had spent some time in prison, the possessors had confiscated him, and he returned later after being overrun by undead. Right, right. Or, or he wants me to go and search for it, I think. He says that, it's a little, a little confusing. He says he's not able to pay me for the job, but he's up to teach what he knows about the skill of inconspicuous walking. Yeah, he holds shift. He also told me about a holy sword held within the complex that would aid in battling the undead. Bender's brooch and the sword will most likely be in the same place. He says a good way to enter the closed off prison is to lower myself through one of the old kitchen chimneys. Well, that's a leading suggestion, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, we did, uh, right, we've got an extra objective on Expert to find out why it was overrun by Undead. I guess we'll go to Expert then. Retrieve Vando's late wife's brooch for him. It's probably still held within the prison vault. His blessed holy sword will probably also be with the brooch. There must still be some valuables around. Get at least 1400 worth for yourself. Bando remembers a prison mate who swallowed a large gem to prevent the hammers from taking it. He was never released and his body may still be there. Get the diamond. Alright, we'll get some intestinal diamonds. The prison was overrun by undead for a reason. Find out why and escape Bloodstone Prison. Alright, we start with a decent selection of stuff. And 800 cash. Well, I think I'm just gonna immediately spend 500 that way. Mines are cool, but I guess we're not gonna have much chance to use them. Holy water might be. I don't, I don't like holy water, it just uses up too much. Uh... Tends to use up way too much. Uh, water arrows. Let's grab two more moss and one more water and that's and try to see how we get on with that. That's giving me enough moss arrows to feel like I can spend some and still keep two and one or two in reserve. This is always the problem, right? Because it's like, well, I know this is a situation that would benefit from moss, but is there a more important one later on when there's very few of them? And we'll have 13 water arrows, a lucky number. Perfect for a haunted prison. A note from Bando. Mr. Gept, thank you for accepting my request to recover my wife's brooch. You have no idea how much this means to me. Watching you reminds me of my youth, and I expect that the challenge itself presents a bit of a lure. Years ago, when I last attempted to recover the brooch myself, I found the front gate to be too well guarded, but an overgrown tree at the southwest wall had broken its way to the roof of the south wing. From the roof, you should be able to slip into the kitchen chimney. The brooch is probably still in the confiscation vault, but you'll need a key to get inside. When I was a guest of Bloodstone's Prison Block 1, the Warden was in control of that key. Be careful, Mr. Garrett. The earthquake and resulting landslide two seasons ago may have done some damage, and I don't think I need to remind you of the dangers of dealing with the undead. Bando. Okay, well, can we put our fire out? Can we burn our bedroll so we don't... It's like... Too many fleas. Too many fleas in it. Nice, nice to decahedron bushes. Yeah, and it's the Bloodstone Prison. Do we have a map? Can we have a rough one? 
north wing, south wing, front gate, north to the left, inconveniently. Yeah, right, the prison is below the living quarters of the south wing, and the confiscation vault is in the admittance office in the north wing. Well, that's useful. Out this way that's grown over the place. Oh, I see. Indeed. We can rip our way up those. What's through here? Oh, just, maybe this is the overgrown tree. That sounds like an ordinary human guard. Whistling there. Probably not meant to go out this way, right? Yeah, edge of the map. Cool. Be sure. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna rope up and see what's happening. <clears throat> This can be quiet though, I don't know. Do I want to spend the muscle on this? Is there an ordinary human whistling while there's zombie footsteps, hammer, uh, hammer haunts? I mean, maybe it's a whistling zombie, I guess. Spend one, just, just. What was that noise? Hmm. Oh, good dang it! Seek one. Okay, he was whistling. I don't know how he, how he managed to whistle without any lips, but that's an impressive achievement. And haunts. Not a big deal, I don't think. I don't know how I'm to get this letter to you, but I want to let you know I'm okay. I'll find someone who can deliver it to you in the city. I'm in a bit of trouble. You must know by now that I took old Prankton's cherished scepter. I thought I could get a pretty penny for it and take care of the family a bit. Maybe even get you a pretty necklace to wear too. But now I'm regretting that I swept up fast, fat bastard's jewel scepter. It was such easy picking, so he left his carriage to piss and my fortune or misfortune. I was sitting behind a barrel out of view of the driver when they stopped. I oh, right. He left his carriage to piss. And 
My fortune or misfortune, I was sitting behind a barrel out of view of the driver when they stopped. I always wanted to see what the inside of those carriages looked like, so I took a little peek, and there it sat, his fatness as jewel scepter right on the seat like a sleeping baby. I could hear him harassing some poor woman, so before I knew it, the scepter were in my hand and I was running down the street. Some street brat must have ratted me out, as the next thing I knew I saw wanted posters with my name on it. Now I can't even get back into the city, because the gate guards be looking out for me. I'm going to kill him if I ever figured out who ratted me out. I don't want to say where I was staying, because they might find me. It's not that great, but it keeps the rain off my head. I'll come back as soon as I can, Bix. Dear Myrtle, now I wonder if I haven't gotten myself into more trouble. The first night were uneasy and I thought I heard noises, but this night I know my life is in danger. I found a bit of booty lying around this old place and began to explore, when I came upon a ghost. He looked as a hammer as any do, but I could see behind him like he weren't even there. First into fear, but the ghost hammer took no notice of me and walked right through me. When he passed, I collected my wits and went to the nearest room which turned out to be a kitchen. I was surprised to meet a fellow humming away peacefully. His back would turn to me and I greeted him, to my regret. He turned around and he did not have a face. It was rotting in pieces and worms and foul air came from him. I ran a fear I had never experienced before, and that's when I saw it. I came up the stairs all glowing. It were another ghost, but this one spied me and waved its hands in the air. Again, I could not move from my fear. Something came from his hands and struck me down. It came closer and saw that I had been hit. It laughed a chilling laugh and turned and left. I thought I were done for. I tried to climb out the chimney, but my strength were gone. So I lie here in one of the rooms to muster enough strength to try again. A dark figure discovered me, and I thought it were over for me as its skeletal face moaned of flames. But it stared at me and took notice of my wound. Then it turned and went on its way. Nothing has bothered me since, and I am relieved, for I have not the strength to defend myself. Fix. My dearest Myrtle, I have not moved for two days. My wounds consume me. My chest turns a pale white, and the blood at my wound becomes dark. I am afraid I will not survive this. I have had nothing to eat or drink, yet I feel as if I don't need to. If this letter ever reaches you, then know that I have always loved you. Kiss the children for me. Bix. Well, rip Bix, I think. Broadheads. Anything behind the shelf? <laughs> Probably not. That's the kitchen guy who's saying yeah, it's right, it's right. Okay, where are we? We just came in the kitchen. The prison is below the living quarters, south wing. Confiscation bolts in the admittance office in the north wing. What does note say about the key? The warden, prison block one. I guess we're trying to need to find person block one. Hello. Brother Frank, greetings and strength be with you, brother. It has been just a moon cycle that I have last written you. I have good news and bad. I have been promoted to captain and been given new responsibilities. The warden has even entrusted me with the key to open his office safe to retrieve holy candles and the vault key. But as I rejoiced for myself, I also grew deeply concerned about the warden's behaviour. He has become increasingly violent with the prisoners and short with our brothers. I have not seen him in service for many weeks now, and he no longer participates in evening prayers. After prayers last night, my blessed candle burnt itself out, so I went to the warden's office to retrieve another from the safe, and I found him brooding over a strange book. His eyes glowed with a strange light, and I sensed a strange burning near his presence, and I used the word strange many strange times. He has found new magics that are powerful and have proven useful indeed, but I fear that they may not be of the Builder. Please tell no one of this letter. If the Warden were to discover what I have said, I would be accused of blasphemy. Sebastian. Okay, well, let's pick some locks here. Put the door shut for more quietude.
Holy water. See, I knew I was right not to buy any. We get one free vial of it. Yeah. That's the other reason to shut the door. Plunk. Cannot be resisted. Oh, he's got a key. An iron key. Okay, actually, let's leave this door open because it might be a good place to come and, uh... and investigate things. But. Hang on. Didn't he say he'd been instructed with the key to open. Vault. Is this the iron key? The, the key to his office? Just wondering if I should be heading down here to try and find the warden. Double sec. Oh, I did pick up the note. Okay. It's this one. I couldn't remember. Uh. Entrust me with the key to open his office safe. Okay, and the instruction from Bix. Uh, not, not that, from Bando. Confiscation vault. You need a key to get out. Oh, right, right, right. It is, it is the warden's... We need to find the warden's office. This is the key to open the warden's safe. And the warden's safe. Let's follow this guy around, I think. Warden safe holds the vault key. Sitting in relative darkness here. So we should not be spotted. Well, this could be an office. No, it's a bedroom. I have dedicated my life to being a hammer. I worked at the ranks and risked my life for the cause of the order. I was appointed warden of this prison and served faithfully. For many years I waited patiently, I performed my prayers, I upheld order, and with an opening of a seat in the High Council I should have been chosen as the next bishop, not that bastard Wilfred. How could I have been passed over? Have I not shown my dedication? Have I not proven my worthiness? Have I not done a superior job upholding the law and punishing the heathen? I have. But the Builder betrays me. My brothers betray me. I will wait no more. I had the strangest dream. I dreamt the spectre of death had come for me. I had no choice but to go. I was brought to a descending tunnel where the skulls of the deceased lay upon the ground and inlaid into the walls themselves. They spoke and called my name as I passed, till we reached a gate where only chaos was beyond. My fear subsided and gave way to curiosity. Beyond the gate I heard my name being called and I saw an image of a tome. The tome gave me strength and power, and I could command the dead. Further in the distance I could see the members of the High Council, and they were being overpowered and killed by the walking dead and I could not help but smile. A prisoner was brought in today. He was admitted stripped of his possessions and escorted to the dome. But before he was taken away, he stared at me and shouted, I bring it to you. Later that day, I went to the vault to collect my usual contribution. When I was shocked to see the book from my dreams, I read one of the pages and a crate in the room burst into flames. Yet it was not consumed and the flames were of a green glow. I commanded it to cease and the flames were gone and the crate unharmed. There is great power in this book, and it is now mine. I have been reading the book, and I pause now only to express my excitement, for I dare not tell this to any of the brothers. I have appointed Sebastian my assistant so that I may concentrate my efforts in studying this book. My new magics are wonderful indeed. I have been able to create light and flames which do not require a torch to burn or a generator to power. I have created a lockup on my safe which can only be opened by the breath of those I desire. I've lifted objects into the air with but the thought of my mind. 
and today I have reanimated a deceased rat. I grow stronger each day. I can't still be spat on. I will be greater than them all. It is now my time. The powers surge within me. A prisoner broke loose of his shackles and managed to produce a blade. My incompetent brothers could not restrain him before he impaled me with the wretched knife. But I did not fall. Instead, I placed my hand upon his face and crushed his skull within my grasp. The book called to me and said I would be given perpetual life. It said it was but the beginning. It said tomorrow my growth will be complete and gave me the name Jiggywitty. I shall sleep well tonight. My wounds have already healed on their own and power surges within me. I think I shall pay the council a visit tomorrow. Created a lock upon my safe which can only be opened by the breath of those I desire. That sounds like he's making some kind of riddle there. So this is a bedroom, right? Not his not his office. I guess. Oops. The high bed. Okay. North of the kitchen, so we got warden's room. Got the kitchen down here. Might as well just kind of roughly annotate. This looks like an office. Oops. Ah, picture of a skull. How how apropos. Hello, is this his tome? Speaks the words of names to the netherworld. The powers this comes to thee maketh one the Jigiwaji, and the nether soul shall come to thee through the open to lands to the netherworld. And so then ye shall live through them as forever with magics and powers unimaginable. Yeah, not quite the Jigiwiggy that he uh, thought the name was. Oh well. So that's his safe, and so this iron key is not going to do it. That's... Ah. I don't have the diary, right? No. So we've got the Warden's Room, hang on, We're on the north side, just slightly further east. So we've got Warden's Room, and then we've got the office. Okay. Uh, what does he say? Uh, I have created a lock upon my safe which can only be opened by the breath of those I desire. Lock only be opened by the breath of those I desire. Hmm. Doesn't suggest anything to me because it doesn't talk about desiring anything with breath. information I suppose I reluctantly I reluctantly uh, suggest I'll try and stay and creep our way around rather than oh, is that another one I'm hearing on the right oh yeah so there's two on this patrol route That explains why they're so frequent. Must we be going at different speeds or something? What the hell? I 
one of them saw me. Sounds like it's searching. Well, we might be safe here. It's possible. So there's more haunts patrolling than I realised. Okay, this is the guy who's already saw me. Breath of those I desire. What's that even mean? Um. Barracks? Does he does he desire barracks? Do we need to get a barrack in here to breathe on the safe or on the key? It does kind of feel to me like we need to do something with the key, right? Oh, he goes there and stands. Okay, well this is collapsed. We can't get to the lower level this way, I suppose. But it's a relatively dark place to sit and watch. By relatively, I mean not very. Let's fix that. Turn this way a fraction before going away. So this room is very much not safe to sit in. Uh, at ground level, anyway. This is a problem. Let's sit back and watch. See where they come in the room. We might be able to sit in the corner safely. Know what I'm dealing with. And that far corner should be safe. Not 100% sure about this one. Okay, the other guy will be here in just a second as well, so we'll wait. So we have the larger gap to get through. I mean, you know, I'd rather not. I'd rather not join you if it's all the same to you. One of my damn lock picks. I had an iron key, okay. So 
So surely the iron key is not the key to the safe then. I guess the iron key might be to the uh, lower levels. That's the kitchen then, right? No, it's a store. It's a bathroom. Nothing on the shelves. Shit. Who's, who's this one I'm hearing? There's another haunt nearby then. So that's not one of the two that are patrolling I'm following. That's the other one. <laughs> Nothing. But this room's dark. That's useful. Right, that's the passageway in front of the kitchen, right? No, let's not do that. So I haven't actually explored this room. It's ahead. I want to know what's up with this guy, so I'm going to wait and watch. I don't know which way to go if I just run out this way right now. Okay, so he patrols there. Really bad timing. Well, it could be very good timing. It could be absolutely perfect timing. Come through here as possible, right? When there's two doors, I didn't hear doors opening and closing. Feels like we might be safe in here. Or relatively safe, you know. Hmm. 
Iron Key Works here. Where are we now? South side. Okay, this seems like stairs down. I guess we're gonna we get some market here. So we have kind of like what's that dining room? Kitchen was kind of the middle, wasn't it? I don't know. I oh, know, like uh, I'm all, I'm all over the place actually because. North and sideways, I don't know. I don't even say kitchen. It's all, it's, all mis it's all misleading and confused and busted. It's a useless map. A small library. Oh, cobweb to pieces. Nothing else in here. All right, we do have some. Stairs up. Shit, so somebody coming this way. Yes, the kitchen's the north side, so this is warden's room is here. Right, kind of thing. I mean, more like warden's room is here. Warden's office is here. Um, and then we have stairs down. And we have the dining. We have the library. And then we still have the kitchen here. Holy water. Oh, there's those guys that I was hearing, okay. 17th, 17th day of March. Praise the Builder, indeed, I am making progress with Jerick. I believe a gentle approach rather than the aggressive hammer is the best way to convert the lost. Jerick has shown great interest in learning the teachings of the Builder and the stories of the Saints. He looks forward to our daily meetings and is beginning to consider cell block to his place of repentance. Tomorrow I will read him the story of St. Judald and the Jiggywitty. I will also bring the Holy Hammer in the event that he decides to make the prayer of repentance. Donatelli. Right, let's uh... The southeast... No, southwest corner... Which is here, has holy water. So we've got holy pot, holy pot. Assuming it's not dried up, which is always possible. Is that the kitchen there? Alright, let's have a look upstairs. I haven't heard any spooky sounds from upstairs. The bell starting to ring. Oh, the chapel. Oh, there's... There's the hammerite. It's transparent. You can see through, right? The one that Bix mentioned. It's a good question, when are you going to get your dinner? I would suggest probably not this century. Then we do have a zombie friend in the... Oh, there's slightly less noise in here. You have a zombie friend in the kitchen who seems to be ready to make dinner for you. So you might be alright on that front. Hmm, the 
use a couple more on the uh, altar. How will I get up there? Oh, these guys see me. I mean, I can, guess I can follow them. Quietly, stay in the dark. I think this is a noisy floor. Here at last is a man with the mind of a general and the heart of a heart, yet also with the hands of a builder. He will lift us up from the earth. I wish I could put out his candle there, but there's light coming elsewhere as well. <sighs> what happens if he sees me there? That might have been a bad idea. And a breeze carrying our salvation. Here at last is a man with the mind of a general and the heart of a poet, yet also with the hands of a builder. He will lift us up from the earth. Well, he doesn't seem to mind. I guess. Oh, he didn't really see me. When everyone else is out running around, when am I going to get my dinner? That's what I would like to know. Very good question. Maybe this guy is do is somehow important. Vigilance is our shield. It protects us from our squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. Very small window between these guys. Hmm. Okay. So we can say transparent dude is upstairs, right? successful. We haven't been seen and murdered yet. Where's a good start? Do we want to go down, I guess? That's okay, so these are these rooms, right? So I do want to go head down that way. We've got these two guys to control. Into that room? Or the... No, it's the other side that they go into the room. Here comes haunt number two. I mean, I wrote that down as a holy water point. Maybe not a holy water, then actually examine it. So does it look like there's anything in this room? There's a banner I need to cut down actually. Let's follow them. Okay. Oh, well, there's also these stairs down here on the northern end. 
locked. Ah, this is locked. Oh yeah, I can't type a capital B. I still don't know why. Curious, curious thing, I can't type a capital B on the map. Let's just go to the north one. That makes sense. So it's not the north wing we need to be at, right? We might as well see what's up here, as if anything. Some doors that won't open, but we can uh, at least do some vandalism constructively. Shambles. I want to go to the south, to the middle of the south. Where's these guys gone? Expected to have seen them by now, or at least one of them. Hmm. Patience. Okay. Patience didn't work. Let's try impatience. Where's number two? There we are, okay, that's good. And the guy at the back is going to come here and disappear very soon. Go down here to the uh, cell block one, I guess. So the cell blocks were down underneath. Under the stairs, anything? Just a storage area that they didn't even have anything to keep. Not even cell block two, cell block one. Guard post with a lot of hammers. Just what the world needs. Well, I'll take some arrows. Don't know if I'll have a good use for them, but these guys certainly don't. What are these holes? I guess. And all the guards are still patrolling Stop Block 1. And still on guard. What happens if I let the prisoners out? Archer there. Uh, I can get down here, or don't think I can get back up. I like that there's a gap between this floor and ceiling, too. Architectural detail. Doesn't seem to have fallen on anyway. Oh my god, so many. It's a 
bad, bad position to be in, honestly. Do I just make a leap for it and is that water? And jump in the water? I can't get past that guy. Yeah. I should have got that holy sword before coming here. Mm. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> Except... Oh, there's more cells, I see. Flooded cells. cells down here. Oh. You have to be careful of the arches, because to the ability to hook holes in whatever plans I come up with. <laughs> ah. Humongous diamond, I see. And yeah, we have this, uh, this lovely gap there. or something, but who? Who and where? The guy probably on this floor or saw something or heard something. Think. Can't really tell. Does not seem like they patrol all the way back here. Top there. I mean, there's there's wood there, but there's not really any residual wood for me to rope up to. So I'm just gonna swing back down the cells. Is there anything in here that I could do? No. Okay, that was kind of a waste of a water arrow, but never mind, we've still got plenty. Okay, well we've got one objective done. We got the uh, prison mates diamond. Oh, we found out why the prison was overrun. We got two objectives done. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get up. Well, not from here. Yeah, I don't know how I can get up there. Unless I did it from the upper floor, of course. Let's go back. Okay. Oh, it's not a rope, it's a ladder. Boiler room. 
Well, that'll get me up to the floor, I guess. Machinery long since dead. Doesn't seem to be any reason to be up this end of it. Guess we climbed the ladder. Get in the water as quiet as I can. Hello. Boiler room key. But the boiler room isn't locked. Or is it? Okay, so this is the top floor. See, the boiler room is locked. Oh wait, this is the hammer room with all the hammers. Okay, I didn't even I didn't even register the door. I was so busy looking at all the hammers. Funny. Okay. Well, we got through cell block one. Didn't really find anything we needed. Well, we've got the diamond. I suppose we needed to get that. There might be more loot up there, but it seems not entirely likely. It would have to be where the archer is on the top floor, right? I mean, I can go back and look. Is there anything on the table behind him there, maybe? Oh, there is, there is something there. A book, maybe? I can try, I guess I can try. Uh. I think I got seen. I think I got dead it. Okay. Well, I know I can go into that cell now. I wasn't really paying attention to that guy there, so I should have. Yeah, I need to watch. I need to watch out for that guy. I think the guy on the far side is not a threat because his peripheral vision is such that uh, shouldn't be a big deal. I need to make that guy make sure that guy's facing away before I move. Which is gonna be a pain because he So timing is really awkward. We've got a really tight window here. Sneaking past him. Oh, it doesn't seem. Oh, uh, can I distract him?
That worked? Yes, it did work, actually. No idea how I'm going to get back. And before I step out into the light there, I need to make sure he's not... not still hunting for me. Cell 2, Hoggins the beggar, harmless. Cell 4, Thorin the liar, ignore his complaints. 5, Pinch, preoccupied with sifting through his dome. Mm -hmm -hmm. 8, George the texture, annoying habit of popping up where you don't want him to be. Cell 9, Mock, extremely strong, did not agitate. 11, Plabs the drunk, will do anything for a drink. 12, Zock, brother of Mock, also extremely strong. So cell 9 and 12 are the ones with the broken uh, walls, they like that. Plabs the drunk was the one who had the golden uh, wine bottle. Uh, cell 8 was where the diamond was. Oh, sorry, cell 5. Pinch. Uh, cell 8... I don't know what cell, what cell 8 was, but... Uh, okay. So this was not... Unless this guy has something to pickpocket. Seems unlikely. No, he doesn't. But... Oh. Okay, so we have a door that connects uh, two cell blocks, I guess. And keeps going up. Okay. Well, I guess that makes it a pretty good place to end the episode. Seems seems relatively safe here. So thanks for watching. See you here soon for the next one.